Hi, this is Petra from Stavebnice and today I would like to show you how to sell virtual products like software, music, videos, ebooks and so on in eShop uh, VirtuMart. So first of all, you will need to buy this uh, plugin, shipment for virtual products that you can buy at extensions virtuMart.net. You will find this address uh, under this video. Uh, then you need to install this plugin by going to Extensions, Manage, Install. And I have already done that, so you will just select the package and install it. Then you will need to go to Extensions, Plugins. You will need to find this plugin right here and enable it by clicking on this icon. The next step will be uh, creating a custom field. So you will go to VirtuMart, Products, Custom Fields, and here you will create a new plugin type custom field. So you select plugins, you, can, you may call it like download or whatever you prefer. You may decide if you want to show the title or not, it doesn't really matter. And now uh, you will need to set the layout position, let's say to add to card. And here select custom iStrex download plugin for media for sale. Uh, next important thing is that you need to set card attribute as yes. And that's all for the settings. You just save and close it. Well, I have already created this plugin before, so I may delete it for now. This is just the exact copy. Now, uh, the next step is that you need to go to Ship Media Files. And here you need to upload Files for Sale. As you can see, this is File for Sale. You click at New button. You select the file that you want to upload, which can be basically anything PDF like this or MP3 or video or software package, whatever you want. Just upload it. Don't forget to select For Sale. And here you can enter the image subtitle and alt text. Um, like this. Save and close it. Now you need to go to products and we will create a new test product. Like this, set some price. This is the parent product, so it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, now we want to create child products. One will be for um, virtual sale and one will be, let's say, a uh, printed version of the book. So I add a child product like this. And this will be test download PDF. You may want to change the alias. And the important thing is that you need to assign the custom field that you created. Right here is download photo or download. Now, this is important. Choose a file. You may choose from the files that are marked as for sale uh, in your media folder. We have just uploaded this PDF and here you can set up uh, various um, parameters like if you want to set up a maximum speed or if it's a free download. Uh, if you want to limit the maximum downloads, you may enter numbers here or maybe some interval uh, like if you want uh, them uh, want to allow them to download this file only for a week from the purchase or so if you don't want to uh, set any limits you just uh, leave it like it is and maybe we want to 
show icon like here, which will show icon download uh, on order confirmation and email. Uh, you may want to hide the display of file name uh, because it may not look uh, exactly uh, as they should see. And sometimes you may want to uh, set up this uh, date for publishing, maybe for the software, if you want to set up the period uh, which will be after which period they will not be able to download it because they just purchase a subscription for half a year or so. So uh, this is what you save at the child product. Now we may want to create another child product or use the parent uh, for sale of printed uh, thing. But uh, uh, while we are at the parent product, you should not f uh, forget to set up this custom field, which is a type generic child variant. You may want to uh, you may want to name it uh, differently because this will be shown uh, on the product detail. And in this eShop, we sell photos, so we call it like this. Uh, you should have a generic child variant here in custom fields, like this. And if it's not there, uh, you may need to edit by new. And here select generic child variant and make it card attribute input and that's basically it and here you enter the title rather well, check it uh, the settings of the so no no it's not card attribute and not card input so set this to no uh, important thing is uh, the layout position make it add to cart if you want to show this uh, option, but uh, the select uh, on, uh, let me see, show you. If you want to uh, show this select of version of product uh, above the add to cart button. Well, uh, now we have um, assigned this child product like this. And we may want to add uh, more variants of the of the product, which will not be downloadable, like test printed book. Set a different price for it. And this product will be shipped as normal product that you are accustomed to. May also enter product of uh, Im image of product and so on. Well, now if you have this product, uh, you may want to assign it to some category, but basically it looks like this, as we shown. Um, and you you select if you want the product download or print. Uh, you place it into a cart and order it and. On order confirmation page, you will get this download link and you will also get it in, in the email, like this. And that's basically it. So if you want to see more uh, Virtual Mart videos, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And uh, you will see the link to this uh, download and also the tutorial how to set up the custom fields with uh, screenshots uh, below the video. So see ya!